Hey guys, so today I am doing my autobiography assignment. Um, to start, this is the bag I chose. It is a big purple suitcase. Um, I have some bigger items, so it holds them well. Uh, purple is my favorite color, so that was an easy choice. And my grandparents gave it to me, and as you'll see throughout this thing, family is a really big pattern in my life. And so I felt like a gift from my grandparents would work as a creative idea. So inside the bag, the first thing you see when you open it is my giant stitch. When my sis twin sister and I were probably eight or nine, my dad took us to Disney World for our birthday and he let us pick out one of the things inside the store to, uh, as our gift and stuff. And obviously I picked out the biggest thing in the store because what else would I do? And I picked the stitch. I think stuffed animals are really great for a classroom. It helps decorate it. It helps make it have a little bit more of like a childish feel to it as opposed to like an adult classroom. They're also great if a kid's having a bad day or is upset about something, then the child will be able to hug this. And I thought this one was great because he's big. So it's about the size of a second grader maybe, give or take. Um, the next item I have in here is a record player. The reason I chose a record player is it's a cool way to teach children about history and show them that there was a time before iPads and iPhones where you actually had to put things onto a machine. Um, it also would add some color to the classroom and it's kind of unique looking. It's not plain and boring. And if I ever wanted to have like dance time, I could just turn on a song or turn on a record and give the kids some time to dance. It'd be a great brain break as well. Helpful for that. Uh, the next item I have is a poster. Um, I really like to decorate my homes and apartments and stuff everywhere I've ever gone. I've always tried to decorate. I just moved this weekend, so this is pretty much the only thing I have on my walls right now, but uh, we'll get there. Um, so this poster, this I think this poster in particular would be really great for a classroom because it kind of reminds kids about happiness and sharing and stuff. But on it, it says, thousands of candles can be lit from a single candle, and the life of the candle will never be shortened. Happiness never decreases from being shared. So, I don't know, it's just a great message. It doesn't have too many really big words, so younger kids should be able to read it. It also is written in big letters, and it's got some fun colors to add to the classroom, which I hope to like be able to personalize my classroom as much as possible. Uh, the next item I have in here is a hood. And this, the reason I chose this is um, I go to like concerts and music festivals a lot, and if it's cold out, I sometimes will put this on because you can wear it as kind of like a hood or a scarf. Um, I usually tend to wear it like this just because that's how I am. It kind of looks like a vest. Um, but it's warm and uh, I, I have anxiety and when I have anxiety issues, I really like to wrap up in blankets or in scarves and stuff. So this is really nice for that. It'd be really great for the classroom if a child's having an anxiety attack or if we're playing dress up. This thing's just a really versatile item that I could use as like a positive uh, like fun thing or a positive like reinforcing thing if a kid needs help with something. The next thing I have is a t-shirt um, from my high school. It says Mercy High School in it. I think it's really great to let, let your children know that um, you were in school at one time too and that you're all in this together kind of thing as opposed to them being stuck doing everything on their own. Uh, if a kid, if a child ever asks me about the t-shirt, um, it's actually very cool. It's hand-drawn, so it's something that they could do uh, eventually. Um, and I think it's really great to let kids know where you're from, and that tells them where I went to high school. Um, the next thing is this little gator toy. My grandparents had this uh, since I can remember. I mean like three or four maybe. I mean, I was very little when I first started playing with this, but you just press the teeth and um, it kind of teaches kids fine motor skills. It'll help them um, 
it'll encourage their motor skills. I think it's great for a little brain break or something, and it also kind of teaches them about like remembering things because you will feel like the pressure and resistance when you were pressing it. The next item I have is a tapestry. Um, I think tapestries are really great. I hang them up in my house. I um, also sit on them if I'm outside somewhere and I can take one. I take them to the beach sometimes or if I go hiking. Um, I think they're really great. They're super versatile. It adds comfort, individuality. Um, I know when I was a child, there was always like a designated reading section in a lot of our classrooms. So I figured I might be able to lay one of these down on the floor and make it the re reading tapestry or something and encourage reading a little bit more than having to go sit on the ugly gray carpet or hardwood floors or whatever the classroom has. I'll be able to put a nice tapestry down and a cushion, so that'll be great. Um, the next thing I have is a painting for my sister. She hand painted it. It's got my favorite animal on it, which I also have a tattoo of. So it'll remind my children or the children what my favorite animal is. It's also important for arts and crafts to be encouraged and this is something that my sister painted by herself and yes it's very very good but it's something that children could figure out at least to do something similar to this. Not obviously this complex but yeah. The next item I have uh, in my bag is a family calendar. This is from my stepmom's side of the family um, and it just has months um, of just all of our family members. I thought this was really great for a few reasons. A, um, I think every classroom I've ever been in has had a calendar, but a family calendar kind of shows my class who I am as a person, where I come from, who my family is. There's pictures of all my siblings in here, so I thought that was really great. It kind of goes hands in hands with like remembering the date and being like a very functional thing while also being something that kids would really enjoy looking at or at least I enjoyed looking at. The final item I have is the main reason I did a video as opposed to a in-person bag and that is my cat. His name is Jose He's about three years old, and he's very feisty right now. But the reason I chose him is because I think animals in general are great if a child, if you have a child with special needs or something. I know he helps me with my anxiety. I know um, pets in general are good for children with special needs or even just children in general and I think having a classroom pet though it probably would be something more like a guinea pig or a hamster or something would still be really great it teaches kids about responsibility it teaches them about feeding habits and that you have to feed something every day or it won't survive it also you know allows children to get more of like a personalized thing in the classroom as opposed to just being stuck with um a boy in the classroom and get an activity which would be to feed the cat or not cat hipster or something every day so that's the reason I chose him and then my favorite book growing up I actually didn't have a copy of it's packed up somewhere and my printer I couldn't get working so I just took a photo of it from my Kim or cell phone but it's called Chicka Chicka Boom Boom by Bill Martin Jr. and it's pretty much just a spelling book my mom read this to me and my twin when we were little on our 18th birthday, I believe, she actually gave us each a copy of it, um, like a hard cover copy. It was really sweet, really thoughtful. So that's why I chose that book. It's also a children's book, so I could have it in my classroom. Um, yeah, thank you. Hope you enjoyed.